You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I'm on my quest. It is a quest to do all of the items that are on the racks next to me that I need to get on video and document for history's sake. And this is one of the Play-Doh sets that's there. There was three Play-Doh sets. This is number two. The first one was The Burger Builder. So if you like Play-Doh and you like checking these sets out, hopefully you enjoy this video. Now, way back, maybe three, four, five years ago, it was like a Play-Doh craze. Everybody was doing Play-Doh. So I had put these there thinking, eh, let me just let them rest. There's too much going on with Play-Doh. A lot going on with things that... Uh, didn't vote well for a lot of the channels that were around, but I document them. I don't necessarily play with them, but I do like to show you all the different shapes and designs on all the sets because there's a lot of little pieces and sections that you need to show to really understand everything it does. All right, so the Purely Pink Pinkie Pie Pretty Parlor only at Toys R Us. So this was an exclusive, and it says it includes the Shimmering Play-Doh Compound. All right, well, let's check out the rest of the box. So it looks like it came up Came with three compounds, like a yellowish, a purplish, a pinkish, and then scissors, comb, and some little styling, uh, styling that looks like a spoon. I have no idea what that is. Uh, does it say? Let's see. Contents. Three two-ounce cans. All right. What's this play compound? All right. Display stand, vanity mirror, scissors, comb, styling stick, and extruder post. That's a styling stick. Did you know that? You probably knew that. All right, let's see. What year? This is from 2007 Hasbro. Let's see. What does it say here? Mold bows, flowers, and more to decorate your pony. It sounded like mold bows. Who wants mold bows? But it's like mold the bows or mold your bows. And then uh, let's see. Storage compartment for accessories. It kind of lifts up right here. They show you. Press button. Display stand spins. Ooh, we've got some action. And then use the scissors, styling stick, and comb to styles, pony, mane, and tail. And then there's these little graphics off to the side. Let me give you those a little bit uh, closer there. Place compound inside. Pony grows a mane and tail. And then press button to... What's that word? It's really hard to read on an angle. To release display stand. For a mirror. Okay, so it comes apart. You don't have to leave it together, and it easily goes back in the box, which is what happened here. All right, so let's get this out of the box. Okay, for whatever reason, my camera is acting up today. I don't know what's going on. The lighting is not where it's supposed to be. Now, let's see. All right, so let's see what we have. Here's the, the big base. So that's the mirrored stand, and that's the little storage compartment. See what I'm saying about all the different little shapes going around? Sometimes there's some on top. Sometimes there's some on the bottom, but not on this set. So that's what we are learning about. Okay, here is the pony. Okay, okay, so that is the base. There must be another piece in here. Oh, there it is. The extruder stand. Can it go on either way? No. So it only goes on that way. And that's going to sit on this. Ooh, look at that. Sounds like some kind of percussion ratchet instrument. This is supposed to lock in here. Okay, that's locked in. And then looking at this, there are the large and the small, and that's what fits on this, the large and the small. So you put that on there, you extrude, then you use your comb, your styling stick, which really does look like a spoon, doesn't it? And then there should be one more piece. Oh, there it is. And then my scissors. Ooh, I tried to open them up too much. My little decorating scissors. All right, quite a bit there. All right, so I need to get some Play-Doh into this. So let me go grab my Play-Doh, and then I'll try to get colors that are close. I don't have the actual glittery. I might. Let me take a look. Okay, so I didn't have the glitter. I know I have it somewhere, but it might be in a set. I did have this, the Play-Doh Plus, which I thought was the glitter. That's why I was a little confused. It says softer and smoother. Plus up your creations. Yeah, I must have did this on video. I don't remember. I mean, I do remember having it. I just don't remember... Well, whatever. How about we just check it out right now? Okay, there we go. So, it's a blue. Let's just see. Is it any good? It's been there for a while. Okay, alright. So, yes, I have used it. And, ooh, it is soft. So, we don't need the blue. Okay, so let's take this nice purple. This nice pink. 
and this nice yellow. Those are kind of like the colors and probably close to the sizes that I'm gonna that you would get anyway with this set. Now I didn't actually do the pony spinning. So here it is. Pretty cool. How about a side shot? Just like you're right in there. I will do some decorating on my pony, but let's take this off. Let's look at the base and the different sections in here. So you see that there? Okay, so it looks like they're very shallow, these shapes. So it doesn't look like a shape. Oh, look, I haven't used this. Oh, and it's not soft anymore. Huh. Okay, it's lost its softness. All right, so that's no good. I'm wondering if all of this new putty or Play-Doh is no good. That would be bad because Play-Doh should last uh, quite a long time. Oh, that one's good. Look at that. That one's perfect. I bet you that other one I can reconstitute it with maybe some uh, water. I don't know. I've done that before. Okay, and this one's really good. It, it is a little bit different. It just feels like it breaks apart a little bit easier. I don't know if that makes sense. It's not as squishy, almost a little more grainy. Has anybody else played with this particular Play-Doh? All right, so let's do, so what's bad? The pink. All right, so let's grab, let's just see. Maybe these are bad too. This is the orange. Not the best color combo, but we're using it. Okay, I just dropped that on the ground. And it's not a lot, so hopefully it's enough to extrude, but let's use this just for the shapes. Okay, so let's take this one here. I mean, you could use this as a shape and get an imprint, but like I said, they're extremely shallow. You know what I mean? It's not something that I think you can actually take out and cut and use as a shape. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Let me just do the whole thing in one shot. I wish they were a little deeper, is all I'm saying. Okay, so I got the My Little Pony and all the shapes in one. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with my camera. It's acting up right now. Hopefully this video comes out okay. All right, and then the ones on the perimeter, I'll just do them. Okay, so some little stars. Don't know what that is. And this looks like a heart and another star. Then up here, it's just a pattern. It's almost fuzzy like this Play-Doh. The My Little Pony logo. It comes out. But to cut this out, it'd be so skinny. And then the repeat on the rest here. Let's just stick it all on there and show you the different designs. There you go. All right. I know you don't want to see that. You want to see the pony grow some hair and a mane. So we're going to do something a little different since it's not that much putty. I'm going to take a piece and we're going to put it in this slot. The slots are very thin for filling. It's not like most extruders that you're used to with the bigger opening, the big round opening, and extrudes like that. It's a little bit different on this one. Probably the only way they can make it work like this. Okay, so this compartment holds less because it's shallower. All right. I'll put that on there. All right, how do I want to do this? How about this way first so you get a good look? I'll try to keep my hands away. And here we go. Oh, and there's the cutie mark on my pony there. There's also a little heart on the one left front hoof area. And it's balloons. I have little balloons. That must be Pinkie Pie. Here we go. So the purple's coming out first. Now the yellow main, uh, yellow tail's starting to come out. All right. Here, bring your hair off to the side. Okay. Ooh, then I could do this. Wait, take a quick look. 
Ooh, I gotta get you close in on that. Now I'm noticing a little unevenness on the tail part, so let's do a little, little trim. Now anytime you trim like that, you see what happens. It connects. All right, and then, actually I kind of like the mane. The way it perfectly cascades down. Okay, so that's that. Now let's see, can you use this styling co? It, not really, I mean, I think it's more for just, of course, pretend, but you can't get your, ooh, get back in there, oh boy. Looks like we gotta do this again. Hold on a second. That was a bad haircut. Okay, fire the barber. Well, here's another thing I like to see. Is it easy or hard to get this out? The rest of it too. Okay, this is gonna be impossible to get out. Hmm. All right, sorry about that, slight interruption, but it gave me a chance to open up the regular putty. Now I wonder if the styling stick was designed to get out the Play-Doh that's stuck deep inside this compartment here. And do you think maybe that the Play-Doh itself this softer Play-Doh is part of the issue? I don't think so. I mean, this is really a deep, they should have made this so it came apart so you can clean this out. All right, I might have to just put more in there to kind of push it and see. I've done enough Play-Doh to know that this is a problem. Oh uh, yeah, it's all stuck in there, hard to get out. My styling stick is just long enough to reach. Ooh, that came out nice, look at that piece. All right, let's get some regular stuff. Uh, that's what I grabbed. Some brand new, regular Play-Doh. Now it's definitely a little it's stiffer. It's not as soft as that. This stuff I probably wouldn't use in sets like this. I don't know why. It just seems to be a little too mushy for me. Now let's get this going here. Yes, my cleanup stick. That's what this should be called. All right, so let's take some of this. Yeah, just make it like a log, I guess, and stick it in there. Try to squeeze a little more on the back tail part to see if that comes out better. All right, now you gotta at least get this going, right? All right, ooh. And did you hear it's like a little wispy popping sound? Now, it's gonna be different because all those little colors are gonna come out with it. So here we go, press. Bring your mane this way. Let's get your tail down. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It's multicolored ponytail. Ponytail. Now I made the tail much longer because I did squeeze more in there. Oh, look at that. The two colors. So my issue has now turned into something pretty cool. Let's spin. Ooh, and the tail kind of like flies out. Let's give you a nice close-up shot. Here we go, and you can see the pony in the mirror. A little dusty mirror, didn't notice that. That's pretty cool, I have to get you kind of like right in there. There we go. You can see the back of the studio and stuff. So 
so that angle's not very good because it's interfering to me with the actual set. Now this comes off, so if you want to just disconnect, you can. And then you don't need the mirror. And then you can go straight in without any issues of background junk. Now we're speed spinning. Whee! All right, there you go. I don't know, what do you think? You gotta tell me what you think because I make these videos as a documenting of different sets like this. I don't necessarily... Now, I don't wanna say I don't play with Play-Doh because I admitted in a previous video, that's what we do as a family. And I'm talking 10, actually more. Yeah, 10 people, 10 to 12 people around a table, and I bring this huge bin of just miscellaneous pieces and parts of all different sets that I've collected over the years. And uh, I don't know, I'd have to show you that one day, maybe. We'll see. I know I make promises, and then I don't keep them, so I'm not going to promise anything. But I did promise I'm going to do those racks on the left, and I'm actually going to get those done. No, nah, I'd say I keep most of my promises. And sometimes I just forget what I promise. You got to remind me. And I've asked that in a previous video. If I forgot something that I reminded you that I was going to do, remind me. And maybe I will get to it. And a lot of times, too, I'm grabbing one item and then I go in my collection. Oh, I grab another item and I just grab that instead because I want to do that. All right, so there you go. That is the Purely Pink Pinkie Pie Pretty Parlor. And thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. I'd say it came out pretty good. Not easy to clean, but still fun to play with. And thanks for watching. Later. Okay, brief intermission. I thought I was done. I wanted to show you that storage area because that doesn't fit. You could fit the two items in there and still close it, but the third item does not fit. And there's no other little shapes in there, so I just wanted to let you know. Remember, that is the release for the little display stand. I like that sound, though. All right, thanks again. Later. Well, video is done. Now it's cleanup time. So let's see what it takes to clean this up again. It's definitely a challenge to get it apart. Shave and a haircut. And I'm using a good amount of pressure. Okay, look at that Play-Doh. Look at all that stuff that got stuck around it. But that cleaned out pretty good. There's still some in there way in the tip. Good luck getting that out. So I think no matter what the Play-Doh, you're going to struggle trying to clean it. It's just way in there. That side cleared out pretty good. Yeah, I think that's just the basic design. There's like a little cavern in there. This was much better with this Play-Doh. And now it's all mixed. Oh boy. If you're upset by the mixing, I'm sorry. I've just learned over the years, you just gotta run with it and just forget about it. It'll become a new color now. Nah, it's still in there. I hate to bang it on the tabletop, but it's this thing does not get it. All right, so when it dries and becomes crispy, that's when you get it out of there. All right. I wanted to at least follow up that. That's two after videos, all right? And again, for the third time, thank you. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up!